stopped at the pretzel kitchen and we each got a pepperoni and cheese pretzel and some marinara. And we can't go wrong with this. We both love pizza. We love pizza and we love pretzels. So put them together. I think we're going to have a good part two to this video. Mmm. <laughs> Pretty good? Mm-hmm. It's a pretzel with a pizza on top. Yep, can't go wrong. <laughs> All right, so we are walking to the Beluga Stadium for their Christmas time show. This particular version of the show only happens at Christmas, so let's go check it out. We're brisk walking. And look at those lights as we barely make it. So you have no sounds today. Promoting what SeaWorld truly is. I love it. So I think we're gonna get a drink now. It's a little bit chilly. It feels a little bit more like Christmas, Christmas. tonight than Christmas. it did last night when it was really hot. So I think tonight we're going for some hot drinks yeah. instead. So I wanted to point out some of the merchandise that we have, and we actually have 50% off select Rudolph items. So if you guys are big Rudolph fans, definitely get your stuff here. Lots of really good stuff for the kids. But there's also some stuff for adults. There's like some cool onesies over here. I really like this Bumble's Christmas trees shirts. And those are adult sizes. There's like ornaments. The Santa hoodie, Don't Stop Believing. So we are heading from the lake side of the park and we're gonna go over to see the Sesame Street show. So this is the last one for the night, but we'll walk you guys through all the lights.
finish out to start, but we did grab some coffee from the same place we got coffee last time. If you're looking for Starbucks specifically, you can go to the sweet stand that's right next to Atlantis. I did want to show you guys was that all of the park maps have been replaced with the lights maps, the celebration maps. So if you need to, if you don't have the app, you can scan this QR code. But otherwise, this will show you all of the gift shops, all of the shows, all of the photo opportunities, and then pretty much everything around um, the park. And we are right here, and we will be going this way. <laughs> don't you know? Very good. Okay, we're gonna go meet Yukon Cornelius. Yukon Cornelius, right? Yeah! Okay. How did you know? He's like waiting for us, you guys. Alright, so we just got our picture with Yukon Cornelius. However, they do kind of rotate characters. So they do have the abom abominable snowman that comes out. We have Rudolph that comes out. Some of the other um, reindeer come out. So you just kind of have to see what's available when you're walking by, and then if they're not available, you can always ask the staff who's coming out next and at what time. They also have all these little, like, cool cardboard cutouts as, like, backdrops for photos. I just want to point out how pretty all the lights are back here. There's just lights everywhere. They did such a good job. We're back by the Orca Stadium. What do you think? Makes me feel like this Christmas time. <laughs> yeah. I love it. It is Christmas time. It is. It is finally here. Absolutely. I mean, we met some hiker guy, and then we got Cornelius. Some Cornelius, the only the Cornelius, <laughs> and also we got some coffee, Christmas lights everywhere, Christmas items everywhere. It's definitely official. Christmas before Thanksgiving is the new norm at SeaWorld. That is true. I did. Everybody forgot about Thanksgiving. It's this week, and we're thankful for all of you guys who are watching. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. So over here at the Great White, we have the home for the holidays. Dinner with Santa and Mrs. Claus, so it's not open right now. But I wanted to show you guys the menu. So you can have dinner with Santa and Mrs. Claus, and then here is your menu. Um, you can choose from all of these things. Adults are $34, and children are $17. This looks good. Yeah. We'll have to do this before. 
before this event ends. Yeah. We came over here to the Wave Breaker, so we're gonna ride this. This is the only roller coaster I ride at this SeaWorld. You do have to get a locker for this though, so just keep in mind if you've never done this ride before. Wait, reaction, GoPro style, oh in the red light. Uh, so I'm a little scared of that, and we were on it by ourselves, so it was just me cool. screaming. So this is the Penguin Encounter building, and I think these are my favorite lights. Oh, also there's a snowman, Elvis. Elvis snowman. It actually what really christens the Christmas time here at <laughs> The Elvis snowman? The Elvis snowman. It's wonderful. It really is. Very Elvis. But these lights are beautiful. I'm not sure why this is blocked off, but it is. Uh, oh. That was where we took... Like you were going to answer? That was where we took spectacular pictures. I, I am aware. But I just love how they did this penguin building. And then there's like a cool SeaWorld... Blue Brothers. SeaWorld Blue Brothers tree. Brothers awesome. Yeah, so we're gonna do a separate video in a couple weeks, and we're gonna take you guys through all of the cool holiday snowmen. These two are Blues Brothers, but um, yeah, we're gonna do a whole video on them so that you guys know what's here, because they're pretty cool. Okay, so we just got off the Wave Breaker, and Lindsay was yeah. like, I'm ready to go home. That was a lot to handle for you. Yeah, so <laughs> honestly, the Wave Breaker is like at the top of my threshold for roller coasters, and I know that's so stupid because it's like a moderate <laughs> thrill ride. Right. Um, but I don't know, I just don't like the height, like where it drops. So I don't mind the launch coasters at all, but I don't like the big drops, so. Right, but all in all, a great day, great part two. We got a lot done today, saw a lot of cool shows. Uh, and Christmas time is here, guys. Yeah. Officially, officially here. But with that said, hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving and we will see you next week. Bye guys, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, bye.